transmitting this hour on 105.2 megahertz ether and 103.8 cable this is radio voice of niger on radio razo you may feel and give us a call on 027371619 as an introduction Our topic today is on poverty, the root of the issue in South East. This uh, poverty being defined is a state of being extremely poor, be in penury, be in a penniless or deprivation situation. It means to be impoverished, to be needy, to be in pauperism or want, to be in hardship or to live in a condition of mouth, hand to mouth. <laughs> it is a state of being inferior in quality or insufficiency in amount. We can admit today that because of the economic recession, many families, thousands of families, are living in abject poverty. In recent times, there have been much discussion about the state of the poverty in certain parts of the Netherlands, especially in South East of Amsterdam, which has a large migrant population. The local government, along with concerned policymakers, have been grappling with the issue in many different ways. However, the ordinary people living in South East, with or in poverty, have their own story to tell. In this broadcast, we have a panel consisting of young persons living in South East who would like to air their view on this matter. So we welcome to Radio Voice of Niger this morning, this noble women. Miss Cheyenne, say hello to Radio Voice of Niger listeners. Hello. Right. And uh, you can hear the voice of uh, my old friend Stephanie. Stephanie, say hello. She, she's also a producer and uh, a radio maker here. Um, good morning, my name is Stephanie, and I'm very welcome to be here. Thank you, Deb. And also we have Kenya. Kenya, say hello to Radio Voice of Niger listeners. Hello, good morning. I'm Kenya, and I'm very happy to be here to inform the people of poverty this morning. <laughs> yes, and we have also another good friend, Hedy Jane, who is an activist and also a lawyer by profession. Hedy, please, can you say hello to our viewers and listeners? Yes, I'd love to. My <laughs> name is Hedy Jane Gutz. Good morning, everybody. I wish you a blessed day, and I am really, really happy to be here and discuss this very important matter. Goedemorgen iedereen. Ik wil graag toespreken voor de the bilingual. Yes, thank you so much, thank you so much. And uh, our listeners out there, should you want to react or you want to uh, contribute to this uh, uh, disturbing, uh, or, or, what, or what do you call it, topic? Oh, which is very, very, very crucial at this moment. Give us a call on 027 Now, ladies, let's write them. Uh, do you know of any who is poor? This question is general, so feel free at any time just to come in. Uh, do you know of any <laughs> who, who, who can be considered as being poor? Is there any person you have seen recently who is poor? Oh yes, I am. <laughs> I know myself, and I, you could call me poor. <laughs> if you don't have money for the next day and you wonder where is it coming from, um, or how, how am I going to work with the money I have, and there's not enough um, finance to stretch the 31 days, yes. and you have to figure things out, or think how am I going from A to B, Yeah then you're poor, I guess. So, um, yes, I am. <laughs> only, um, only pride keeps me from going to the food bank now and then. Uh, so I work on my extra fat. You say, <laughs> I can lose weight that way. But um, it's a, a choice I made deliberately. Uh, well, not to be poor because I don't like poverty. Yeah. But if you have to choose between two roads and you're consistent in the one and then poverty hits you on the way, mm -hmm. you know that it's going to come. So, yes, it was my own choice. But it's not my own choice to live in a poor country that's the 10th richest in the world. So I'm fighting that. All right. So do we agree to uh, do we agree that uh, she is, she said that she's poor? Um, yes, I do, because um, I'm also poor. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I now I realize I'm also poor because um, I never um, stand still to see if I'm poor or if I'm rich. But I'm not rich, but um, to that's what she said. To when you get your salary and then you have to see how you're gonna manage it for 31 days yes. before the 31 days is finished, yes. and that means that you're poor. Exactly. And um, sometimes it um, has to do also how you manage your money. But even now, if you manage it. It's still not enough for the, the ending of the month. And then, then we have a problem. Yes, we are poor. Because the people that are um, making the system, mm -hmm. they um, make the system. In the beginning, everybody's happy because here's Holland. Here you get uh, you get a house. You get an um, income from the government. Your children can go to school. But you're still poor. Right. So despite the program that they are feeding us with. Yes, you still poor. You still have problems because um, poor comes also together with um, racism. Because you poor, you live in. They put you to live, or they make a um, beard is a, a way a neighborhood. And as soon as you live in that neighborhood, that yes. means that you're poor. Wow. As soon as you have a postcode <laughs> that's one one zero blah blah blah, <laughs> that means that you are poor. Wow. Really? Because there has to do with discrimination. Because if you put on your CV eleven point something, yes, that means that you're from the Balmer. So if you're from the Balmer, <laughs> then you're poor. There's no in between. And some people say you have middle son that's the mid people, but the mid people also are getting poor because they lose their job. Yes. So they're getting poor. Wow. So I'm poor too. Stephanie, say something else. <laughs> <laughs> It's the mentality behind of it because people look at you and they see you and they assume also you live in Belmar. Yeah. Because I think two years ago I used to live in Amstelveen. Yeah. And it was people used to be in oh when I used to say, Oh, I I live Amstelveen. As soon as they see you they think, Oh, you live in Belmar. So it also has to do with association of how you think that things are and things should be among a certain community. Yeah, okay. I don't say I'm poor, I say I'm temporarily out of cash. <laughs> so I use a different term. But that is to show you that if you get your salary and you can manage to pay certain things and at the end of the month you're still missing, then something is wrong. Exactly. Because it's not only one person going through it. Yes. It's more than one. So when something is consistent in a type of people, yeah. then we could say, hey, so are we now trying to say mm -hmm. that uh, poverty is a related a relative issue? That means it is related to mostly the migrants. Can, can we at least say that now? Because you are saying something about postcode and uh, something about Belma. So uh, I mean, those who are listening to us will now begin to understand that Belma is a uh, consistent of. Uh, 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 one hundred, almost one hundred twenty ethnic groups, yeah, migrants living in Burma, and then do we now say that all of them are poor? No, 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 no. no, no. no. no, no. We are not. No. no. Uh, you see, um, because first of all, it's not only Burma. There are at least ten uh, islands in the city of Amsterdam with the same structural problem. Okay. And whether it's the Islamic group and mostly more Moroccans more than Turkish when we talk about the bigger groups and uh, Amsterdam East uh, where I stay at the moment uh, but also in West all over Amsterdam first they would call them the the Vogelaarwijken, toch? The Krachtwijken, all kinds of names. Oh. Holland, by the way, has a policy of naming, renaming things all the time, so it distracts your attention of what's really going on. Uh, mark that, because there's always a new name for the old things. So you might think, oh, but it's a new thing. No, it's the same old thing. And it stretches way back to the days of slavery. Uh, I, in Dutch we say all the wine in new sucker. Yeah. They yeah. always put the yeah. wine yeah. in new bags yes. and then sell it again. Uh, where people didn't want it, they put a new bag around it and sell it again. Hmm. And it goes to po political situations. In a way, I agree with my sisters here what has been said so far. In one point, I, I must uh, make a contradiction to what, what she doesn't mean. Stephanie. St what Stephanie said uh, on that it's discrimination. Uh, the, uh, when we were, were explaining our personal situation, there is one key difference between racism and discrimination. 
uh, discrimination can happen to anyone and everybody. All of us, we do discriminate now and then. But when there is a system and a structure put in place that uh, hits a certain group or certain groups and hits not only them today, but it hit their grandparents in the past if they were here, and it will hit their grandchildren in the future if things stay the same, by the way, uh, then it's racism. It's a very systematic and structured way to hit groups. And actually that's what I wanted to add to is what I see now and what I would like everybody, all our citizens to wake up to is that there is an administrative war going on in the Netherlands. And it's in the US, it's in the United Kingdom, it's in France, it's in Belgium. Actually it's a global thing. Especially in the rich countries. Okay. There is a, glo a global administrative war. And when I say war, it, it hits our, our mere existence on the longer run. If we don't wake up, we, it's like gas, gassing people All and right. they fall asleep. Okay. Uh, but it's with poverty, it's with regulations. It's with all kinds of things, uh, and we, we notice because there's dogs sent to us. Like in the olden days, our parents tried to uh, run from slavery, they would send dogs on us. And you'd hear the dogs bark vividly, and you hear their, you feel their hot breath in your neck. Mm -hmm. Well, the dogs of today are called incasso bureaus. Some <laughs> <laughs> agencies are the dogs are sent to us, and you laugh, but it's a very scary situation. It is really. For people. It is really. And it really shakes us. And there are certain matters and ways Jeez. of putting things, and we should wake up to that and organize ourselves first to hit the dogs. Why don't we say no to those in Castle B Roads? Because they are making people's lives very hazardous. They are, well, and then you can, they are creating yeah, you people's can. lives. What do you say? You can say no. But it's just that people don't do it. But you can. If you cannot pay something, you call and you say, I cannot pay it. But the thing what happened is a lot of people, uh, poverty doesn't only have to do with money. It also has to do with education. Okay. What do you know what is going on? And unfortunately, you can see that um, where you go and poverty abounds, it also means it has a lack of education. People are not up to date with what they can do or cannot do. How can you say no, Kenya, when they have imposed some bills on you, mm -hmm. and then you are saying that you can say no? You can also call and write a letter and say, I do not have the money now. Can we do a deal? And it will be postponed, and it, then it will maybe, it may be carried to another generation. Another generation, you mean as to my kids? Uh, yes, yes, yes. But if you do not pay, <laughs> mm -hmm. they don't write off any debt here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do they write off debts? Yeah, after a certain they... amount of years. Yeah. You're, if you're if you free. play the game, mm -hmm. if you go by the rules, you do the, the certain things, uh, it gets postponed. Yeah. But if you don't wake up in the meantime, they come again. After it. It just, it's just a free period of time. Because uh, to add to your, can we say no? Yes, yeah. we can. But uh, we shouldn't fool ourselves. We also have a problem ourselves. Because yeah. we do something to make the dogs come. And we should also be aware of that. And we should change ourselves as well. Because these people are not entirely crazy. They're just not a patient anymore. Yeah. Yeah, where yeah, they were yeah, before yeah. and yes Africans all over the world have we slack on certain responsibilities part of it is maybe as to talk for myself the diaspora child mm -hmm. from the slavery background we have something like damn you plundered my 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 existence yeah. and my oh, no, ancestral no, 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 no. lines mm -hmm. and hey give me some cut some me some food. slack yeah. And, yeah. but they don't cut you any slack anymore so you also have to be aware of what you do wrong, mm -hmm. and you have to organize yourself. It's if I cannot do it myself, because if I call these agencies, they put on such a tone that I block completely again. And then I don't do it, because I don't want to do it, because they, it's like oppression in a form. And they play with it. It's a psychological game. But if you would call for me, even if you have problems yourself, mm -hmm. You'd call for me, so you wouldn't block because it doesn't regard yourself. Yeah. And so she doesn't get angry and she can be very pinpointed with them if she's trained. Yeah. And I go and do the same for her. Oh, okay. uh, Bob Marley sings, one hand washes the other. Uh -huh. So I think things like that are the solutions for us. If we help each other with our 
our problems. Yes. Uh, things like that. Well, somebody who is out there listening and you want to comment on this particular topic or you want to give us a call, please. Our number is 027 Voice of Niger Radio is coming to you live on 105.2 MHz ETA and 103.8 cable. You have a question, please. Right. Oh, so when can one be considered to be poor here in Southeast? Shayan, <laughs> can we hear your voice? Yeah. Uh, when can one be considered to be poor here in Southeast? Um, I think people are scared to use their knowledge. Um, um, yeah, many people in Southeast accept that they are poor. I think they have to do something about it and not sit down and accept it. Um, what she said about the Incasos Bureau, uh, yes, um, I don't, I don't think you have to sit and lay down and waiting for it get worse. Um, when you do something about it, um, like call uh, Incasos Bureau and tell you can pay the bill, they are, uh, um, it's always. Um, Ja, ze zijn altijd in staat zeg maar, um, een betalingstermijn met je af te spreken. En als je zit, wordt het alleen maar erger. So, um, my advice is do something and don't accept that you are poor. Yes. Ja, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yes. And, and yes, some of them are willing to help. Like she said, you can call them if you are able. Because they are willing, you are willing, but there are blockings. She said you can talk to them and make an arrangement wow. for settlements mm -hmm. for monthly mm -hmm. yes. what you can pay, and mm -hmm. that's really true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know what has brought people into this poverty is that they are busy paying these bills, and at the same time, the little money they are getting is not sufficient enough. So while they are getting little money, they are still they are still uh, paying bills and bills and bills and bills. Sometimes some of them, they are all from work, they are being laid off from their job and then they have their house rents to pay, they have those bills to still continue yeah. to pay, so they make many other debts. I, I think it also mm -hmm. has to do with pride. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright. You yes. finish. I have a question. It also has to do with pride because if you are in a situation where you cannot pay your bills and have money to sustain yourself with the basic stuff, then it's supposed to be a wake-up call and say, hey, I have to go to the school sanating. But what happened? Your pride, mm. you'd rather stay home and eat bread for a month than cry out for help. And that's already a sign that you, you're, you're poor. Because yes. even rich people, when they see the situation that they're going in bankruptcy, they just cry for help. Yeah. But you won't see a poor person cry for help. Okay. <laughs> so they have yes. pride. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to speak all the time, but... Yeah. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, are, we, are people born into poverty, or they become poor uh, because of choices they make, or they become poor because of where they are born or where they are staying? Uh, in other words, can your environment influence your life to, to make you become poor? Or people are born that way? Because I know some people are born from the day they are born, they have... A lot of cars stashed away for them. Others are born, they don't yeah, have nothing. Those are people that are born with a gold spoon in their mouth. Yes, preci yeah. precisely. Mostly white. So how, how do we... So those who are poor today, Mostly is it white. because they were born that way? Or yeah. they chose to be? Nurture or nature, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So somebody can answer that anyway. Well, I don't know. Um, I don't want to go into religion. But sometimes that's a cycle, yeah. People yeah. are living in a cycle yeah. because it's just like death. Because um, when the slaves wanted to be free, mm -hmm. the ones in curse all them, yeah. and that's why the Antillian people they like to have death because that's something that you 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 see that your mother has death, you see that your um, your grandmother has death, mm -hmm. and and death. all them death. 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 Oh, death. 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 death, 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 okay. <laughs> what they do, they do. That's a that death is a style of living oh. because sometimes oh. you cannot afford something things. Yeah. But you see your neighbor has the, the neighbor those has things. It. Yeah. those things. Yeah. You don't know how he came on them, but yeah. what happens? The system puts you 
to go borrow and pay with interest. So it's easy. Mm. Because if I cannot, wow. if I have to buy something yeah. and it takes me 10 years or five, a whole three years to buy it, yeah. when I finish save to buy it, mm -hmm. it's out of style. So I need to save a little more so yeah. you will never get it. So the system teach you mm. to lend it and then pay monthly. Oh, you understand? Yeah. And then when you pay monthly, sometimes it works out, yeah. sometimes it doesn't work out. Amen. But Big the thing God. is that <laughs> the interest that slows down and coming up to you, yes. that's the thing that, that's, that's, that, that's the cancer, you can mm. say. Yes. Yes. Because if there was no interest, or yeah. high interest, yeah. then in castle bureaus mm. and all that, mm. then people would have managed to pay. You understand? Yeah, it's just like yeah. when people came here before and, and they then you they got a house very easy and yeah. then you get a book from Wake Up with all things you never in your life could have imagined yeah. to have. Yeah, exactly. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna you're not gonna keep yourself short uh -huh. and then sit on a box that you find that no, you're gonna go and borrow it. Exactly. But and the just system, like, yes, definitely. So it's, then it's a decision. Yeah, but the question here is the people who are not in this uh, neighborhood, who yeah. are not living in Amsterdam side oh, do they not buy things as well? So yeah, why is there the poverty? Thing. Why is it poverty now more here than, than there? I don't think that the poverty is more here. It's just that you have more people living in a certain amount of how do you say hectare uh, um, in a in a, in a stretch. Yeah. Uh, so then it seems region. that it's more than another region. Mm -hmm. But you have to check to if you have twenty foreigners and nineteen are in poverty and somewhere else you have five foreigners and three in poverty. They'll say, oh, this one in Southeast is more poverty than other places. But if you compare it, it's maybe the same thing, but it's more visible yeah. Yeah. where we yeah. are. Wow. And like Stephanie said, it's also a decision you make. Because mm -hmm. I didn't know what was an incasabido until five years ago. <laughs> so you also have to look at it. But then because you, maybe you want certain things, you want a quality of life. Yeah. You see what your neighbor wants and you want it. And everything, the eyes is a problem. Because we everything we see, we want. Mm -hmm. I have to say it. <laughs> then there is where you're going to start having issues. So when you start lending money or buying in wake up or buying something, then it's where you get the incasso bido. Yes. Because they have always <coughs> existed. Wow. The incasso bido has always existed. Yeah, it always existed. But only now is most visible because people are slacking down in their responsibility. Yeah. They want a flat screen TV, they want the latest iPad, they want the latest everything. Haven't they always wanted that? But yes. that was worse. <laughs> <laughs> but there is another thing added yes. to that mm -hmm. that I call the administrative mm -hmm. war, yeah. uh, the bureaucracy war. Mm -hmm. uh, more than ever now, we have uh, legislation and rules yeah. coming in, have been coming in. Okay. And in the white community, because there's also poverty among white Dutch, yeah. don't, yeah, don't mistake are, yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but in there, People are organizing themselves and fighting to take away some of the rules because rules block initiative, yeah. uh, especially in a country like Holland, but also the other countries have it as well. But the thing that is so different and, and that I see in the Belmer is that when when uh, uh, Helen was talking, she, she also mentioned here and there, she meant also, I thought, uh, there is within the Belmar ourselves because there are white people living here. It's forty yeah, percent of the uh, yeah, but most of them not because <laughs> it's a point of some structural issues like unemployment. Mm -hmm. The unemployment among black people in the Belmar is five times as high mm -hmm. as among white people. Mm -hmm. And if you go to education, most black kids here Don't go finish. to the black yeah. schools. Yeah. And we are working at them improving, but many of the black schools underperform. Mm. And then you go to uh, housing. Well, our housing, thank God, is a lot better than it was before. But still, we struggle with issues of paying our rent. Yes. If tomorrow they cancel, and they will, the house uh, huur to slap. Uh -huh. oh. all, all of us are half of us will be homeless. So and we don't think about that, but it's coming our way. And and most white people live without huur to slap or they use it, because but they, they don't have need good it. jobs because they have because good they jobs. Have, they go. have good jobs. So that's why I was. Does it to mean that we are not studying enough to have good jobs? I said it's a part of education. When you miss the education. Uh, how you see you perish because of lack of knowledge. 
So it's very nice that maybe you didn't finish school. For you, maybe it's nice because you went to work. But at the long run, it affects the decision you make. And it affects you also because if, if a person has a HBO diploma, and you come with an MBO diploma, the HBO is going to be chosen. Of Unfortunately, course. but they're going to be chosen. But then how many people among us, I'm going to say the black community, do we really push our children to go to HBO? Exactly. They, do. they do. They do. But they don't do the other things necessary like to what? make it yes. successful. <laughs> Tell us, like what? Like, like, like uh, well, like what? Yes. Standing next to your child. They have this song, Stand by Your Man. <laughs> you need to stand by your child. Yes. If you made a child, you need to stand by them. You spoke of education. Kenya, uh, uh, education is good and I think there are a lot of black kids or black people who have yes. got good education. Exactly. Is that really the key to this poverty yes. problem? Because there are very well educated people who are struggling. Like, like he, he, he studied in Erasmus University. Excuse yeah. me. So don't, don't bring that in. No. I don't bring that. So maybe are you poor as well? No, that's not the point. <laughs> no, but I wanted to add the point of racism again. I yes, mentioned it yes. before. There is a systematic targeting of groups because of our skin color. Yes. And it exists. We all know that here yes. in the Belmer. For 30 years, I'm looking at the issue that on the other side of the spore, there is 50,000, not less, 50, well, there might be less now because of the economy, but there used to be 50,000 jobs. And here, there's like 100,000, oh, well, 80,000 That's what I people. want to say. So the people who are qualified are not getting jobs. That's true. They're and not we don't jobs. have a system and place to work, to fight. I know a racism. lot of, peop a lot of um, people, Yes. they have um, university education. Yes. And they completed their studies since 2009. Yes. And still now, they did not get a job. It's true. On the level. It's true. Every time she goes to an interview, they tell her, yes, you need to apply. I told her, you know, better apply for something below. Yes, exactly. You know, and then it's, it's the, the That's thing what they say. is to yes. get inside. When she tells me she applied for low, she goes to interview. They tell her, you're too expensive for us. Oh, there you go. Yes. And I am one of them, by the way. Yeah. I sit here, I have a master's degree in law, and God knows what else. I did some, uh, at least three post-academic uh, yes. uh, courses, so I have lots of diplomas. Yes. But whenever I come, I'm too good for the job. Because yes. I am not too critical anymore. I just need any job to pay my yeah. rent. Yes. I ended to crash with the, with the economic crisis because I thought, okay, let's not be picky, let's just grab any job and I started to clean. I was yeah. a cleaner. The cleanup woman is a lawyer too, you know, the cleanup woman, the song. Uh, and I went for that, but it couldn't even pay my rent. Forget about all the other costs. And that's where my situation almost crashed. Thank God I woke up enough in time, timely enough for the Incasso dogs to grab my <laughs> and my husband, my everything. Uh, I was, uh, God was watching me and he woke me up at the right moment because you come into a, a kind of drug situation. You get depressed. Yes, yes, it comes yeah. together so, with depression. Yes, it's yeah. depression and is something that a lot of people, they're not aware of. You know, so a lot of people, um, they know they have them. Yes. You know, but Absolutely. they don't have the strength to wake up and mm -hmm. pick the phone and to call. Yes. You know, just like what Cheyenne said, you know, you need somebody to um, to call for you or what my yeah, other sister said. Help. But they don't have even that strength because you have, you have to wake up in the morning, bring the kids to school. Yes. Um, so, so um, you have to make sure you have bread to go to school. Yes. Yeah. And you have yeah. to educate those kids too so they cannot go to school and Tell the teacher what's going on because the teacher don't understand your culture. Yeah. You understand? Because yes. if you you tell your kid or you scream at her or you do something to her, then she can go to school. I so see. the system is making these people so depressed that these people don't even know that they're depressed. Yes. And when you have death, death comes together with depression. Yes. Mm. And some people say, Oh yeah, you should you shouldn't it's very easy to tell somebody, oh, why didn't you call the Incaso? You should have called the Incaso. Not me. I didn't call the Incaso and blah, 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 blah. But that person don't have the strength, don't have the knowledge to call. And these people are then, yeah, you have to go by uh, uh, 
uh, instancy to help you. Yes. The instancy has 50 people. Mm -hmm. You come in, you're going to be 50 people. One. So you're going to be on the, on the list. Be helped in over three, four years, maybe. <laughs> My God. You know, yes. so, so you're getting more back. You're going more back. You're not going further. And, the, and this and, is and making and you mentally yes. ill. Yes. And then you cannot do nothing and no more. And the debt is increasing. And the debt is increasing. Increasing, increasing, yes. increasing in interest. Yeah. Wow! This it has to do yes. poverty is with That's comes with together with death comes also together with depression. depression. Because I don't think nobody wants to live in poverty. No, nobody, nobody does. Yeah. Nobody wow! Does. If you are listening to this broadcast and you want to react, please give us a call on zero twenty seven three seven one six one nine. We are talking on poverty, the root of the issue in Southeast at this moment. So the ordinary people are airing their view about what they feel because many school of thoughts have come and they are, they are bringing out certain things as the reason to why there is poverty in Southeast. But today we are giving the people who live in Southeast, the ordinary people, the chance to speak out what could be the root cause of poverty. Yes, Hedy. Yes, I would like to add my structured way of looking at it. Uh, there's an old situation, there's a present situation in the now, and there's a future situation. That especially, I'm so happy that we are women here who talk because women are the re reproductional uh, vessel <laughs> for any situation in their communities, yes. in the past, the present, or the future. We are the key, the bridge, mm -hmm. because we stretch back from the past to the future, because we can get children and then have the power to raise those children yes. Yes, it's true. together. Uh, uh, the old situation, she already mentioned the slavery experience, I share that, because in Suriname we were raised uh, not intendedly, but my mom, from what she did and what I saw, we were raised with what we call a gat in the hand. Mm -hmm. We have a hole Good in the hand. hand. <laughs> There's this eternal hole and the money just slips in. Oh. And uh, But I, I realized after many years that the hole in the hand was connected to the hole in our souls. Because of slavery, many of us have a who heet dat een uh, eigen waarde probleem. Uh, yes. uh, yes. uh, yes. 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 Image, self-image. Self-esteem, yeah. Yeah, yes. deeper than that. And so in that hole, we put lots of material things and they have to be expensive. Yes. And we're not rich. So you can but we need Nike shoes of 600 to feel comfortable. Wow. Or bling bling. The whole bling bling culture is taken so lightly, but it's about that hole. Just hold them for a caller. Hello, caller. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is uh, Colin. All right, Colin. Yes. I want to come yeah. into the program. All right, please do. You see, poverty is something that uh, we can't do away with it, but at least you can try and uh, minimize it. And the only way you can minimize it is uh, you cut your coat according to your shirt. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. sure. Just imagine you earning about. 800 euros a month and you want to spend about 1400 euros a month how can that be okay. it's not possible and so you try to you know go according to what you have all right and, and by by so doing i think uh, you can minimize the poverty and the same time too People must try to do away with the credit card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first thing that went. I, I, I cut my five years. years. <laughs> five <laughs> years ago. I think it will help. Thank you very much. Thank you, Colette. Thank you for listening and please continue to listen. And should you have more questions to call or more contributions, please just feel free to call us. Thank you. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye. To this. I'm yes. very happy with this response because he gives us a, a pointer to where the power lies. It's mm -hmm. within the self. Yeah. Because your own personal wisdom should also make you be critical on what do I do that can be improved. Yeah. Like I was talking about this in Caso Dogs. Maybe you have 
a, a, a horse, a sausage on you, not knowing. Of course they run behind you because you have this sausage. And most of the black people have a huge sausage for anyone who wants to take money from us. Uh, in, in the way we act. And uh, so we should be aware of that. Our enemy is our pride. We talked yeah, about that yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. That is pride. a crucial thing because I learned to step over my pride to go to Kringlowinkels, <laughs> for instance. But I was trained uh, because even as a student when I was studying law, I decided, hey, I don't need a 600 uh, uh, guilders by then. Uh, couch, yeah. if I can get one for 25 and then take the money and travel to Africa and see where I come from. <laughs> so I used to that, I was used to that. And now today it ha it's helping me because the clothes don't make me. I'm yeah. the person inside. Yeah. It's my yeah. radius exactly. that goes over the clothes. Yeah. So I can buy cheap. Holland teaches us a lot of that as well. Uh, to be more smart in yeah. how we, we use our money, spend our money, yeah, spend our money exactly. and so on. But true. still there are big challenges because I didn't even mention the prison system. Yes. Uh, that's not a big challenge for black communities and what they plan there because half of it we haven't seen yet. It's going towards what where the US is mm -hmm. and then there is uh, health, mental health. Hello, Cola. Hello? Hello. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, please. Yeah. Can I uh, talk? Yes, you can. It, yeah, I'm enjoying the program. Uh, uh, they said when you, you you owe, you can call the uh, job order or income to arrange. Yeah. But the problem you need to arrange. Uh, it's also a problem. You arrange, they agree. But to get the money and pay that arrangement also is another problem. So what do you do? Yes. Right. That's a very good one. Thank you, Carla. Thank you so much. And thank you for listening. Keep listening. So uh, he's saying that... Um, uh, <laughs> he he cannot fulfill the potential. Yes, the because uh, you can arrange the incas or the duwadin to help you. But if you still don't have the money okay, that I'll you will be using to pay, what are you going to do? School sanering. Yes, you can go to uh, instancy, yeah. like school sanering. Mm -hmm. And um, when you go to an instancy like a, a school sanitary instancy, mm -hmm. they um the Nederlands. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't talk in Nederlands. <laughs> the the school is always accord to go. So you um must must put your pride away. Yes, to go. Yes, to go to an instancy. Instancy, okay. That's the best thing because if some people they think that um. I advise as soon as you have that, that you see that you're not coming out, yes. go somewhere for help. Because it's going to take you three years and then you will be debt free. <laughs> Even if uh, you are owing 60,000, yeah, It will take yeah. you only three years. Those three years is 36 months. You can manage in 36 months because if you um, put it in a waste house, in a balance, and you see in how much years this death came to 60,000, yeah. and in how much years you will be debt free. It's three years. Three years is nothing because you will get, they will pay your financials for you, those, yeah. so they will pay your, um, your rent, everything. your life, everything, mm -hmm. and also you will get money for food. Wow. You know, so you can manage to buy food for the whole, um, for the week. Yes. And a, a month has four weeks. Yes. So if uh, normally you, a minimum you can get is 50 euro, but then you know that your head is free, all stress is gone. All um, other things are gone, but maybe in those three years, then you will not. And if you have kids, your kids will not miss nothing because you will get the um, the kinder base allowance. Yeah. You can get. You can also, if you are in social, you can get all the benefits you can get. You can also get your uh, vacancy help. Oh. You know. So I advise everybody to go to Sanere. You know, it is that's the best thing because the system in Holland. They, they they make laws to strike to, to, to hang you and they also have laws to lose Certain. you. Okay. Yeah. You know, there's those two things are imbalanced. So everybody to liberate you. To liberate you. you. Yeah. So to help you. You have to, to know which law is applicable for the moment that you're living in. Yeah, yeah. so everybody, you know, when you see death coming, mm -hmm. you cannot get out of it. Go to Schultz and go to instances or they can call um 
the sister here and she has our number because yeah. I work there too. Yes. We will help you. Yes. You will, we will get everything off because there's such such things. Those bills are coming up, like say you have a bill that's two hundred. Yes. Over three, four years you did not pay, it's over bane a, a thousand. A thousand. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes those people they own the handle, they go and um, discussion the negotiation, negotiation with them. Yes. And most of the thing the time they make an estimate how much bills you have and the money that you have, the income. And based on your income and the money that you have, they can um, evaluate how much can you pay. And most of the time, those scrub acers, those, those dogs, because they're dogs, you <laughs> yes. know, they're trying to rip us off. Exactly. You know, they cannot rip us, they can rip us off, but the, the instances, they cannot rip them off because the instances know their law. Yes. Because the instance is going to tell them, listen, this person has such and such money, this person lives from this and this and that. Only thing you can get is the money that you owe, more than that you cannot get. Yeah. You wow. know, and the other rest of the money, that goes to quake selling. Hmm. And these people, those dogs, they know that. They know that. But they don't want us to get educated so we can know that because we will fight them. But, yes. you know? <laughs> but those those other money that come on top of that, you know, you don't have to pay them because if you do not have the money, you don't have to pay them. Exactly. So everybody, if you have them, mm. you know, you go into one instance and you see yeah. that you're not getting through. Look for other help, okay. you know? Thank Look you for, for that information. Yes. And then That's we good. will help you because you do not have to pay more than you have, have to pay. Because God will give you a, a cross yeah. that you cannot <laughs> pay. So they cannot the girl is preaching now. No, 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 no. You do not have to pay nothing. Well. I don't have money to pay. I'm going to the instances. Then I will go to the director. Yeah. And I'll tell the director. I get this and this and this, and in this system is 36 months, and then 36 months I'm going to pay this thing, what I have with this money. Exactly. Yeah. And after 36 months, okay. if I have more, I'm sorry for you. Sorry for I you. don't have much more to pay, and I'm, I'm done. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's wow. All stress gone. <laughs> Only you need to do is tie your belly a little for three months. Yes. For three yes. years. Yes, yes of And course. you know what? You will tie it for three years, yes. but you will be, your mind will be free. free. It's even better. You will be deaf free. You start all over again. Well, 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 for yes. Yes, yes, for the sake of time now, because you know our time is already gone, and uh, unfortunately we've not even gone into this. So I think we will have another time, another session to continue on this topic. How about that, women? Yes, I think that's I very good. So we can educate our, our people. <laughs> Maybe on another time we can also talk about how we can empower the mothers. Yeah, but we are next yes, decade. Yeah, but still, no, no, but we've not yet finished the question yes, because I have okay. so many. Because I wanted that we can discuss on the characteristics of. Of 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 uh, poverty. Yeah. yeah that we and, cannot and, because and I would down. like to discuss the the approach that we take to the future, yes. which yes. is most which relevant. Is, yes. Because added just one little thing to what yes. she said. Uh, those three years, if they're gone and you don't do anything, they come back. Everything okay. comes back. Come I back. promise you. So your problems are not over because this sounds like paradise, yeah. and it would be, but you need to do something too yeah. in those three years. You need to work on yourself because otherwise you slip in the same situation. The dogs keep waiting at your door. <laughs> yes, let's well, put it that way. Well, 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 thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you, Shen. Thank you, Hedy, and thank you, Kenya. 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 Thanks for coming. And uh, listeners, thank you as well for listening. Those of you who called us. Thank you. And if you couldn't call, you want to send your SMS, please do. And the, uh, our number is 0684-606-550. But we shall be continuing on this topic next week. Thank you. Bye. God bless you. <laughs>